Hello guys, welcome back to SAS LTD Deals. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell icon so that you never miss our uploads. I'm back with another review and this time it is going to be a very interesting tool. It is called Moxie and as you can see it is a powerful CRM. So if you're a freelancer who has multiple clients and you are struggling to manage them, you can use this tool because Moxie gives you a single platform and that platform is going to be enough to handle all of your clients. You can also handle your projects, you can make timesheets, and there are even some advanced features for freelancers on Moxie, which is the accounting feature. It means Moxie is also going to take care of all of your expenses. As a result, you will always know when you are going to get paid, how much amount is due, and these types of details. A great news is Moxie is available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. So instead of the regular pricing of $240, you only have to pay $39 and you will get lifetime access to this deal. And keep in mind that it is a one-time purchase, which means you are paying this $39 only one single time. And this will give you access to Moxie for the rest of your life. So if you want to buy this lifetime deal of Moxie, make sure you check the link in the description below. Moxie is an alternative to Dubsado and Honeybook. Now let's have a look at the features that you are going to get with this lifetime deal of moxie so as you can see you are going to get the client management feature the project management the accounting you can have unlimited proposals and contacts there are some other features such as calendar mobile app invoice time tracking collaborators and so on and these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. so the tier one costs 39 dollars and here you are going to get one seat which means one user and on the tier 2, the cost is $99 with 10 seats and the license tier 3 cost $189 with 25 seats. Moxie is also offering subscription plans. As you can see, these are the annual plans and you can also get the monthly plans on here. After you log in to Moxie, you will get this dashboard and on here you can see the amount of invoice, the amount of received, the other income, the expenses and the net income. You can also see some time details such as the number of hours that you have worked and some other details. You can also use quick filters to filter between these details and then you will get the client section and as you can see there is already one client created on sample data. So how to create a client for that you have to click on this plus icon and then you have to fill some details such as the client name the record type lead source the contact info and also the business address you can provide some other details such as the client website the hourly rate and even you can add some notes and there is another option here you can even add contacts so as you can see there is one contact that i have created you can add another contact by clicking on this plus icon as you can see you have to fill these details and when you are creating a contact you can add that contact to a specific client by clicking on here as you can see I can add this contact to this moxie client and if I open this contact I can see all of the details here now let's go back to clients and let's open this sample data moxie client so as you can see there are various details on this client such as the address the main phone number the website the lead source the payment terms and there are some contacts you can also attach some files if you want and the best part is you can edit any of this information simply by clicking on this edit so as you can see now you can edit whatever you need it you can also see the project details that is connected with this client as you can see this is the payment received the total hours worked and then there are some other options such as you can see all of the invoices the deposits there's inbox so if the client is messaging you you can see that on here there are time sheets so the amount of time that has been worked you can see all of them in this section and to add a time sheet you have to click on this plus icon then you can add the time entry then there is the agreement section so as you can see with this moxie client there are two agreements you can add another one by clicking on here and to add a agreement you can choose proposal contract quote you can also start from library and then there is the forms so if you want to send a form simply click on here and then you have to choose the form so let's choose this one so as you can see this is the form editor and there are only these two options on this editor you can add as many things as you want by going to this left section you can add the checkbox date file upload multiple choices and so on you can also add different types of content 
and also layout then you can also change some settings and you can also change the styles so let's go back and then there is the meeting so you can see all of these scheduled meetings on here and then there is the opportunities now let's go to this project section you will get access to all of your projects on this section as you can see these are the projects that i have on my dashboard and on a project you can set the name the status the priority you can assign your project to different team members you can give the start date due date you can add comments you can see the subtasks and if you want to edit any project simply click on this pencil icon and then you can add it from here you can also add a new project for that you have to provide the name you have to choose the status and you also have to add some further details and then you can add your project so now on this inbox this is a very interesting feature and if you think this is an ordinary inbox you are going to be very mistaken because this is not an ordinary inbox it is the inbox of your email so yes you can add your own email to moxie and all of the messages that are sent to that email will appear on this section for that you have to click on this plus icon as you can see the message is saying you will need to connect an email account to use this feature then there is the sales pipeline so on here you can add opportunities so let's add one click on this the opportunity name is for example this is going to be the name of the opportunity you can select the client or prospect you can select the stage so let's select qualification you can also add the confidence level you can add estimate value the close date description and you can also add to do so let's save changes so as you can see now one opportunity has added and now you might ask that where is the drag and drop option for that you have to go to this layout and then click on Kanban so as you can see now you have got the Kanban drag and drop sales pipeline now you can drag and drop the opportunity to any section as you want now let's go to accounting and on this accounting section you can add different types of payment related details and keep track of them for example this is the invoice section you can add a new invoice by clicking on this plus icon first you have to choose your client and then click on next so for invoice you can have three types of invoices one is standard which is request payment for your work then there is a deposit you also get the recurring invoice so let's choose standard now as you can see this is the invoice you can edit each detail that is mentioned here such as this from which means your company name and the location you can also edit the bill to which which is the address the due date the issue date you can add purchase order you can add new line item for that click on here and then click on create new so now you can create a product or service and then add that you can also add tracked hours you can also apply deposit credit and then there are some other options such as you can add notes you can add payment instructions you can also attach files and for payment there are stripe and paypal integrations and on the accounting section there are also some subsections such as the payment and income so on here you can add payment or you can also add recurring payment and then there are expenses as you can see this is the list of all of the expenses that i have you can add another one from here then there's the vendor list and also profit and loss so this is a very cool feature you can get a graph or chart of the profit and loss with so many details and then there is the agreement section so as you can see i already have three agreements you can also add a new one from clicking here and then choosing the client and there are three agreements proposal contract and quote so this is a proposal agreement as you can see this is the agreement we have let's try to create a agreement for that select the client and then let's click on proposal and a great feature is there is already templates for your agreement as you can see this is the proposal template so all you have to do is add some details and that will be enough you can change the cover image the font settings there is also the contract so this is the contract and I really like how they have terms terms and policies for the contract this is going to be really helpful for freelancers and last but definitely not least there is the timesheets so as you can see these are the timesheets you can also add one from here so you have to select the start end time the date the duration the users and also you can add client info and there is also a time Timer on this mock CCRM to start the timer all you have to do is click on this play button as you can see the timer has started you can choose the client which means the timer is for which client you can choose the project the task you can also add notes so let's stop there are also some other options such as if you click on this you are going to get access to to-do list 
the notes and the schedule and from here you can schedule your meetings for example i only have one client so if i want to schedule a 30 minute meeting all i have to do is click on this and then create my meeting there is also the notification panel so overall i think moxie is an excellent tool for freelancers it is a very powerful crm that has almost everything that you need from client management to project management to sales pipeline it even has some advanced features such as timesheets accounting expenses and all that so if you want to buy the lifetime deal of moxie make sure you check the link in the description below of this video these are the features that you are going to get with this appsumo deal and these are three tiers that you can buy from appsumo so that's it for our today's video i hope you have found the video to be helpful if you do make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this